Trello Content Calendar Tutorial 2024 Quick Tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video I'm going to be giving you a social guide, okay? I'm going to be giving you a very easy guide on how you are going to go ahead and give yourself a content planning calendar. And we're going to be using one of the most popular content management system platforms out there called Trello, okay? I'm pretty sure you are very commonly affiliated with Trello. I'm pretty sure you are uh, pretty commonly ideated with Trello because Trello is pretty, uh, you could say, out there. Trello is pretty popular, so it gives you a good idea of how you're going to use this, all right? So to start things off with Trello, what we are going to want to do is we are going to go ahead, okay? And uh, we're going to start off by creating a board for us. Okay, we're going to create an actual template for us to help us start with this. So for that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on create. You're going to click on create board and then you're going to add a board title. Okay, so let's say I'm going to just call it content calendar. I'm going to call it content calendar like this. And once we do this, you can actually choose the colors, workspace, you know, which workspace uh, it is in. You can choose that, you know, whatever workspace it works in. You can just go ahead with those. And then uh, once you do that, uh, visibility of the workspace, you know, that depends on you. I'm going to keep it private for now. And then you're simply going to click on create. You can start off with a template if you want to. That totally depends on you. Okay. But I'm basically going to start off fresh like this. Now it asks me to enter the actual list title. Okay. This is where you can start adding lists for yourself. Now, adding list is a big part of Trello because adding a list will tell the people in your workspace what to do, okay? The adding lists helps you create tasks. Adding lists actually helps you and actually tells your clients what to do, how to do it, when to do it, okay? So that is exactly what we're going to do with the adding list function. So what you're going to do is here they're going to tell you to enter a list title, okay? So to enter a list title, I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually add a title for myself, right? Now, when it comes to adding a title for myself, I'm going to go ahead and write, let's say, new ideas. And I'm going to click on enter. Then we have uh, content writing. Okay. Then we have designing. Okay. We have editing. And then we have uploaded. Okay. We're going to add all these things. And now I have all my lists. Okay. So that's how you're going to create lists. Just add their names and then from there on out, click on enter and that's going to add all the lists for you. Now, once you've added your lists in your actual lists, you can add cards. And in those cards, you can let people know what the actual, you know, details about the card are, what the actual details about all of these things are. So basically, to start off doing that, you can simply click on add card and you can give tasks inside these cards, you know, as I was talking about. So you're going to create a list in that list. You're going to give people ideas in the form of cards. You're going to tell people what the work is really about. So enter a title for this card. Let's say I'm going to call it task one. Okay, I'm just going to call it task one. And then you can go ahead with task two. You can go ahead with task three. Okay, so just add, you know, the necessary things that you want to. Now, once you've added the necessary things like lists, editing tasks and all, from there on out, what you are going to want to do is in those tasks, you're going to add your very own descriptions. So here you have the description section. And in the description section, let's say I'm going to write real for Insta trying, let's say, Mr. Beast video ideas, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to write that. And that gives you a description of how you can, you know, what your task is going to be about and how you can explain your members. And then you can actually add members in this list. So let's say we have all these board members, you can assign them to this and you can let them know that, hey, okay, this is for you. You know, you're supposed to do this. Then moving on, there's labels. Okay, there's different labels that obviously can mean different things. So let's say red means high priority, green means lower priority. Yeah. So green means higher, uh, red means lower. Now, moving on, once we have talked about this, obviously, we're here to make a content calendar, right? 
So we are going to want to give our video or our, you know, task or our project some type of content into calendaring it. So for that, you're going to click on dates. Okay, you can give it some certain deadlines. You can give it some certain, uh, you know, task uh, developments and all. So to do that, what we are going to want to do is, as I stated previously, you're simply going to choose one date. So let's say I'm going to give them the time of the 20th. So I'm going to give them the start date. Okay, start date is going to be the, no, I'm going to make it the 20th and the end date is going to go till 2nd, okay? So I'm going to, wait, let me turn off due date. I'm going to choose the starting date as 20th. Now I'm going to turn on due date and I'm going to bring it off to, let's say, 24th. So 20th is the starting date, 24th is the ending date. So there you go, it adds in dates. Now, it gives you a whole time frame to do over here. So once someone is done, they can actually click on it and tell you it's done. And the fun thing about adding dates in Trello is that, you know, you get a quite nice design of like, you know, if someone's getting late, you can, let's say if I go ahead and click on 1050, click on save and look at that. It actually tells someone if your work is overdue and if the timeline uh, or if the timeline has ran out, it's going to tell you. And if it's highly overdue, you can see it goes really red. The card is past you. So that's what I like about Trello. You know, it actually plays around with the color schemes and themings. So yeah, you're going to add your days, you're going to edit your cards, and then you can actually go ahead and add attachments in this. You can add different covers in this. You can choose different files to add into the actual attachment and give people a good idea of how these filings and how the system actually works. So what this does is it actually helps people to understand what your file is actually about. It helps people to understand what your page actually works like. And it gives everyone a good general idea of uh, the working, okay? And uh, that's the fun thing about using Trello and uh, creating a whole, you know, you could say um, content planner or a content calendar. OK, so just go ahead and use this as much as you want to, because the more you use it, the more you're going to familiarize yourself and editing your theme is pretty simple as well. You can also make a template for yourself, which you can upload on the actual servers of Trello and as itself, but you can also keep it for yourself if you want to use it in the future. So yeah, that is the basic idea of how we are going to be using this for ourselves. So Trello gives you this much things to work in and it gives you a good general idea of how you're going to make a content planner guide. Now obviously there's different views to actually work with as well. So there's the board view, there's different calendar views, there's chart views, there's bar views, anything you want to go with. Then there's things like power ups, which is basically integrations. And then there's automations. Okay, automations are also a pretty fun thing because uh, if you want to keep your work updated on your actual Trello board, you can use automations for yourself and it gives you a good general and uh, fun idea to work on. Okay, so yeah, that's essentially about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Till then, that was all from me. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.